Hey guys, uh, good morning. What well, is morning once again for me? Um, the motivation behind um, growing is the grace of God, knowing who you are in Christ, growing in the grace and the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so many fall. Uh, there's more. I, I would say I, I, it's uncountable the people that have fallen into the parable of the sower, meaning they received the word with gladness and they were saved. Yet the cares of this world, the lust of other things, all these problems, they uh, rush in and they forget what manner of man they are and chokes the word and it becomes unfruitful. Meaning they give up. The pressure becomes too much. The devil, and we have no problem with our own flesh, sin. And then with the devil compounding that pressure, a person will give up. And do you think the devil's going to let up? Sure he will. To get you to give up, I'm just going to give up. And for a while, for a season, you might have, you know, nothing bothering you. But I tell you, this thing has a weight and glory. When you are being um, hit with all kinds of pressures, all kinds of this pulling you this way, that way, you got to understand Run to the Lord Jesus Christ. Run to him. His grace is sufficient. And in all things, man, it, he wants you to grow in his grace. You notice how if you have gotten into any sin, how hard it is to even pick up the Bible? You'll forget what manner of man you are. You forgot the grace of God. You're not held accountable for your, as far as eternal salvation. Your sins as far as the east from the west. God has forgotten as far as east from west. He chooses to. He wants you to grow in his grace, meaning renew your mind of who you are in Christ. People, what the problem comes is that people have a guilt complex. When they sin, all, the, all this is is just showing you where you're at. It's not for you to give up. God is not uh, pushing you down for your sin. He's already forgiven it. He wants you to get up, brush off, maybe one little step at a time, one step at a time. Okay, it takes time to grow, but do not give up. Don't forget what manner of man you are. Don't look in the mirror, the perfect law of liberty, and straightway tossed by every wind of doctrine that comes your way. Because if you get away from uh, the grace of God and, and the true um well, the grace, the grace message the, the, that God did something about your sin. Christ is just, I mean, God is justified and completely um, satisfied that you are, he sees you as Christ in him. Now, there is rewards to be had, and his reward is with him. When he returns, you're going to get a new body. I mean, it, it's hard to, there's going to be a, time when it's going to come. The first shall be last, the last shall be first. Everything that we uh, um, perceive as important in this life is going to be burnt up. It's going to be gone. It's going to be gone. All that's going to matter is what did you do with the gift I've given you? What did you do with the, I've already given you the grace. Salvation is a free gift. But did you build upon this foundation? And it's going to be shown. It's going to be very clear. There will be no mistake. But you'll be happy. But there, I believe there's going to be a time for regret. But salvation is a free gift. Don't run from God. Run to your Father. You're the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. He took care of your sins once and for all. Abolished. Gone. But I, I just hope you'll be encouraged to keep on Renewing your mind, as well as me. Pray for me. Renew your mind. Don't give up. Two steps back, one step forward. Sometimes the way it goes. It is. And you might have seasons. But that don't give you no reason. Don't quit. Don't quit. Everybody has seasons. It's part of growth. And sometimes you're going to be hit hard by the devil and your own self. You can be your own worst enemy. But God's grace is sufficient. Paul explained that. You know, we do things we shouldn't do. The things I would, I would, I wish I wouldn't do, basically, you know. 
But um, who shall deliver me? Well, he will. He's going to deliver you. Just hang in there is, is the message. Hang in there. It's worth it. It is worth it. And he wants to uh, give you something to reward you with. He wants to reward you. Salvation is free. Once again, free gift. It ain't going nowhere. You're not going nowhere. He's got you in the palm of his hands. He that cometh to me, I will no wise cast out. That's a done deal. But God bless you. I hope you have a great day. And um, amen, amen. God bless you. All right.